To write the name for Cr3PO42, the first thing we need to recognize is this PO4 here, this is a polyatomic ion. This is the phosphate ion. We actually have two phosphate ions. So those two phosphate ions, they're bonded to these three chromium atoms. Chromium is a transition metal. So we have this metal and then these nonmetals in the polyatomic ion. We're going to use these rules here to write the name for the Cr3PO42. First, we write the name for the metal as it appears on the periodic table. Cr, that's chromium. Next, we write the name for the polyatomic ion, the phosphate ion, lowercase p. And the name for Cr3PO42 is chromium phosphate. But we said chromium's a transition metal. Because of that, we need to really look at what it's bonded to to understand its ionic charge. And then we have to write that in the name using Roman numerals and parentheses. So let's do that. So the phosphate ion, the whole thing, it always has a charge of 3 minus. This is one you need to memorize. So we have 2 times 3 minus. That's 6 minus. So on this side, we need a 6 plus for the whole charge to balance out, give us a net charge of 0. 3 times some number, that gives us 6 plus. 3 times 2 plus, that gives us 6 plus. These two numbers here, they'll balance out net charge of 0. So the charge on the chromium here, on each one of these chromiums, is 2 plus. And to show that in the name, we write a Roman numeral 2, we put it in parentheses. So the name for Cr3PO42 is chromium 2 phosphate. This is Dr. B, and thanks for watching.